If you want to see how we got the fender to go from this to this metallic cobalt blue using spray can paint, then sit tight because I got a video for you. Alright everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to do the metallic paint job um, out of spray can using the Rust-Oleum. Uh, I used the primer, already primed this fender. If you want to see that uh, video of me priming a fender showing you how, I have a thumbnail which will look like this and link will be in the description and I go over it in that some more. Now this one can of primer did two fenders with three coats each and there's still quite a bit left in it. The metallic blue We'll do this fender multiple coats, and I'm going to show you how I spray metallic. And this is Spray Max 2K Clear, which is a two-part clear coat, not to be confused with the 2X from Rust-Oleum. The 2X paint is a one-part system. Um, it, it'll it fade, you, it'll chip off, it's not UV protected. It'll look good for a while, though. But I prefer this. It's $20 a can. There will be a link to this on eBay in my description where I bought mine. It, takes, it has a hardener, which I've already activated, and I'll show you exactly how I do that. Then you're going to take this little plug, and you're going to put it in the bottom of the can. After you do that, you're going to hit it really hard. All right, now that you've punctured the bottom and you've got the hardener mixed in, you want to shake it up really well, which I already did. So now we are going to shoot this 2K clear. All right, so a lot of you have also asked, why don't you just use a spray gun? Just go buy one. I've had a compressor. I've had a spray gun. I've had a water separator everything to do it I just prefer the can method now a lot of you are probably wondering why it's budget friendly because you can buy 11.59 get you two cans you can get one fender done say you're strapped till payday you can get buy on one fender so on and so forth now I will be showing you the air filtration for the shop as you can see that thing up there that's our air filtration unit and that'll be turned on shop door here will be open with a fan blowing the fumes out I will be wearing my respirator and long sleeve to keep myself protected because the fumes from the 2K are a lot more harmful than the typical one part system. All right, before I get started doing this, I did want to tell you that I used 220 grit to wipe to sand it before the primer, then used 320 primed over it and then wet sanded with 400 to make it smooth. A lot of people wanted to know what kind of sandpaper and grit I used. There you go. In most spray campaigns, you want to warm them up. It helps spray a little bit better. Um, you can use this with a, use a heat gun to warm it up. I've already warmed the can prior to this. You can boil some water on the stove, set the can in it for about five to 10 minutes. It'll absorb the heat and it'll spray much better. It's just a tip for you. You can actually use one of these Rust-Oleum triggers. I just prefer not to. I have a whole box of these Rust-Oleum sent me to try out. Um, I personally don't like them, but you might. I built up a tolerance spray can painting since I've been doing it since I was like uh, 15. So about 13 years, roughly. But yeah, so I'm kind of used to it. I have a decent spray finger, so just a recommendation if you're new to this. You might want to use one of these. All right, so we're gonna allow this coat to dry for about five to 10 minutes. Um, you don't want to do it too heavy on the first coat and you don't want to get too heavy because it's a metallic paint so it'll run super easy. So we'll just let it sit and we'll come right back. All right, the second coat is done. We're gonna let it sit for about five to 10 more minutes. While this fender is drying, I just wanted to personally thank you if you've ever bought merchandise or donated to the channel. There will be a link in the description for my PayPal if you want to donate. Um, I have merchandise for sale as well. All that information will be in the description below. I edit all my videos myself. It takes four to six hours, sometimes longer, um, then plus the processing for YouTube and coming up with good 
uh, clickbait pictures or whatever. So I'd appreciate it if you smash that like button. I do put a lot of hard work into these for you guys and it does take time away from my family. So any little bit you can do helps and I greatly appreciate it. So we'll get back to finishing this up. All right, so now we're just gonna let it dry for about another 30 minutes. This is the third and final coat. Remember, this is just a demonstration video on how to do it. I do have some small imperfections, impurities in it, but that can be wet sanded out. But this fender is just for demonstration purposes only. So, we'll come back and see how it looks in about 30, 45 minutes. All right, everyone, it's been drying for about an hour and a half. It's about 75 degrees here in the shop. Um, I highly recommend Spray Max 2K Clear. The 2K is different than the 2X, so when you're choosing clear coats, make sure to get a two-part system unless you're not worried about it sun fading or chipping off frequently. Um, I've actually had problems with the Rust-Oleum's 2X chemically reacting to the paint. Um, I did everything the proper way and it just made it wrinkle up and this stuff doesn't make it do that to this for some reason, so I highly recommend this stuff. Now it is more powerful and it does cost a bit more, but one can will last you two fenders this size, uh, three coats each. So to use a full can, you'd have to do two of these fenders, or you could do six coats on each fender. It depends how thick of a clear coat you want, but this right here is wet sandable and buffable, and I'll show you up close. All right, as you can see up close, it does look really good. Let me try to get in here and focus. You have that metallic look all the way through. Um, there are some impur impurities in this clear coat just because, you know, it, it happens. This isn't a paint booth or anything like that. But uh, you can wet sand this and buff it. It does have some orange peel, which, you know, it's normal. Just you're going to have to wet sand and buff it out, which I have a video on that. Link will be in the description. And this is this will be the thumbnail right here. So definitely check out some of my other videos I have on this stuff. But this is uh, it's ready to go back on the car, so... We'll go put it back on the car and see how it looks. All right, there it is. The fender's back on the car. It's been quite a few hours since I painted it. I decided to wait a little longer to let it cure. It has a really deep gloss shine to it, as you can see. Uh, the paint looks really good. It has a nice layer of metal flake all the way through. You can wet sand and buff this, which I have other videos of. Link will be in the description. And uh, yeah. You can make spray can paint look really good. Um, this is a test panel, so no, the car, the whole car won't be getting this color. My brother has other plans with it. And uh, I'll go show you the other side real quick on the uh, fender that we did in a previous video with this thumbnail. And uh, we'll go look at that real quick. It's kind of hard to see in the lighting of this uh, garage here, but still has a really deep gloss to it looks really good out in the light. I've constantly moved this car in and out and it's been in the elements. But yeah, it looks really good. And a really good wet sand and buff and it would look even better, but this is for demonstration purposes only. Like I said, just to show you how good it can look. This is cobalt blue, you can get it at Walmart. The Spray Max 2K Clear, the link will be in the description below. With a good wet sanding and buff, it would look even better, but I think it's perfectly fine how it is. You know, you got good reflection. You can see me pretty clearly. Uh, you can get this at Walmart. It's really cheap. Spray Max 2K Clear, $20, gets you two fenders done. And uh, yeah, looks really, really good. So definitely smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let me know what you guys think below. Um, this is Spray Max 2K Clear over some Rust-Oleum Metal Flake paint. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.